An alternative to the if-else-if statement is the case statement or the case expression. The case statement is used when you have a fairly structured decision to make. You'll see what I mean by structure when I show you the example. Let's go ahead and open up a new Ruby program. We're going to call it case.rb. And first let me show you the general form or the syntax for the case. You have what's called the case expression followed by a when expression. For example, in the case expression, the expression will usually be a variable that holds a value. And then in the when expression, it will say when that value meets some criteria. Again, when I show you the example, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Inside the when can be a set of statements, one or more. Then you'll have another when expression, or you can have another when expression. You don't have to. Followed by another set of statements. We'll do one more when. Normally, you will have several. Otherwise, it would be easier just to write the if-else-if. Usually, case statements are used when there is a long series of decisions to be made that are fairly structured. Again, my example will make this a lot more clear. Then finally, you can have an else, and those statements will be executed if none of the other when expressions are true. And then finally, we end the case with end. So let's look at an example of using a case statement. In this situation, we're going to be taking a numeric grade and assigning a letter grade. And that scenario follows a very strict pattern. 90 through 100 is an A, 80 through 89 is a B, 70 through 79 is a C, and so on and so forth. So we can write that very easily and very clearly using a case. Let me show you how it works. First thing we have to do is prompt the user to enter a grade, and then get that grade, converting it to an integer. Now we begin the case statement. So our case expression is case grade, and grade is what we're looking at. So then we write when 90 to 100, or translated, when grade is between 90 and 100, then we'll say letter grade equals A. Then when grade is between 80 and 89, letter grade equals B. Then we have the 70 to 79 for a C. Sixty to sixty nine is a D. And then here we could say when zero dot dot fifty nine, or we could just say else in the case, and we'll just print the letter grade to make it simple. So let's save that and see how it goes. So let's try a middle C. And there we see it said C very plainly. Let's try a low grade. That's an F. Let's do one more. Let's do a B, 88. And that shows B. So let's look at our code one more time. The case statement looks at an expression and then evaluates it based on a set of when expressions. So in this example, when grade is 90 to 100, we assign A to letter grade. When grade is between 80 and 89, we assign B to letter grade and so on and so forth. And then if none of these other criteria match, the else is executed and letter grade is assigned an F. So that wraps up these lessons on decision structures. And now we're ready to move to the exercises for the chapter.